There's a new firmware update available for the C64 Mini, the C64 Maxi, and the VIC-20 version 1.5.2. And today we're going to take a look in this fast load. Before we take a look at the update, let's do a quick reminder on how you can upgrade your The Series Retro Games computer. First of all, you got to visit the website and download the latest firmware. You will find that on the page. As I show here, remember we're looking at version 1.5.2 today. Once you download that version of the firmware, you want to either download it directly to your USB drive or you want to download it to your desktop and then copy it over to your USB drive. You want to make sure that when we copy it, we place it in the root directory. We'll remove that USB drive from your computer. You'll come on over to your the C64, the VIC-20. We got to come up with a name for these things all together. You plug it into a USB port. Hopefully you get it right. I never get it right on the first time. Turn it around. There we go. Plug it in. Then what you want to do is turn on the computer, go into your settings, and you will see that a firmware version is available for you to update. Go ahead and select yes and watch the action and magic happen as your new the whatever we're going to call it computer is updated to the latest firmware, which includes fixes and a couple of new games, which we will look at momentarily. So what do we get for our troubles? Well, according to the website, we get a couple of changes and additions. The first one is the C64 full-size European model fixes the missing Blue Star carousel cover image. All models receive the C64 joystick port selection. The C64 Mini adds a C64 only classic mode. The C64 Mini also adds disc swapping for multiple disc games. The C64 Mini adds soft and hard reset hotkeys to classic mode. The C64 Mini adds freeze button support to classic mode. There's a lot of great updates here for the C64 Mini. Note to self, make sure and do that. I am updating my the Vic 20 but I definitely need to go back and update my the C64 with the same firmware. All models add Commodore RAM expansion unit support to include 512K, 2 megabytes, 16 megabytes as file name flags or CJM parameters. The new games for the C64 Mini include Hessian and Pet Snake. For the C64 full size, or the Maxi as some people call it, we get those same two games along with City Crusher for the VIC-20 and Minesweep for the VIC-20. And then if you're on the VIC-20 as I am, you get the same new games. We'll take a look at the VIC-20 games. The first new game that we get for the VIC-20 is something called City Crusher. Make sure you hit that F1 button a couple of times when you see this insert coins prompt. This is basically Blitzkrieg. If you watch my previous video where I play the VIC-20 games on the VIC-20, it is exactly the same gameplay as Blitzkrieg. We want to fly our aircraft over the city and drop bombs knocking down each tower, making it a little bit lower before we run into the tower. So here's a little example of City Crusher. The next game is a little text-based game called Minesweep. If you're familiar with Minesweeper on your old Windows platforms, that thing may still actually be available on a Windows computer. I am unsure. However, it's basically the same gameplay. You're going to select some coordinates. You're going to see what's in that space. Is it a flag? Is it a mine? Are you going to die? Uh, and that's what happens to me really quickly. So here's a little example of Minesweep. Again, that same old classic game we all come to know and love. And, you know, it just seems appropriate that we would have that on our Commodore computer. Blue Star is also included. I did not see that in the list of new games, but it was not included previously with the firmware that I had installed. Blue Star is a little platform game, very similar to many other platform gamers. You infiltrate an alien base, you take out the CPU in this arcade platform game for the unexpected, <laughs> unexpected, how about unexpanded, VIC-20. Find equipment to help you on your quest. Here's a little example of that gameplay. In the past, I've not demoed the Commodore 64 games. Since we get two new ones though, I thought I would do that for this video. The first one is something called Hessian. Kim is a security guard working for Throne Group Science. She awakens inside a cargo container 
converted to an improvised emergency operating room. This is a platform game written by Cytronics. Cytronics actually has some really good games. What's really interesting here though, is that this is a 2016 game. So it's a modern game for the C64 or the Commodore 64. So let's go ahead and take a look at this little platform game in the demo right now. I want to say I'm really impressed with this game. I know that I will be coming back to play this game for realsies, as we say. Looking forward to, to spending my time learning about the levels and the gameplay for Hessian. And finally, we get a new game developed in 2020. This should be an exciting game full of outstanding sound, graphics, since it's just developed a couple of years. Wait, wait a minute. This looks like something created in 2020 that was created in 1979. Yeah. I guess you get what you get. This will work with either the joystick or the keyboard. It's basically Snake for the C64. Those are the updates for firmware 1.5.2. And to conclude, you can watch me play a little bit of Iridium, which is the best game on the platform. Thanks for watching. Retrocombs out.